What'd you break? Nothing. No idea. Morning. So today we're gonna be finishing up the semi trailer, emptying it out of water, winterizing it, and the little bulk tanks in there. Just gotta rinse them out a couple more times, dump a bunch of antifreeze in them. Get that done. We're gonna drop the trailer over at my grandpa's, and then take the bring the semi back and. Hook it up to uh, this grand trailer that it falls this fall. And then, well, first we'll probably take the semi, bring it up to the shop, grease it, get it all just greased up and ready to go for this fall. Figure I'll do that and then probably get the grain cart out and just finish all that stuff up. Got to put the PTO shaft on that, hook hydraulics up, and just do a test run with it. It's about what I expected there. Last, last time we tried to move this, those two hubs were locked and, well, he thinks it's just not fully aired up so it won't release the brake there, but I know it was like that last time we pulled it five feet forward, so. Hopefully it's just the air needs to fully charge up on this trailer. I think that's what he said, so. Well, oh, it looks like it was just air pressure needed to be fuller, so that's awesome. Both tanks are winterized. Um, they stay in there. And then, so now we're heading out here where there's a little more incline and um, we're gonna drain the water holding tanks. What are, there's three of them, right? Yep. And they're 2,000 gallon tanks, so there's not much water. It's not like we're dumping 6,000 gallons of water out, but just enough. And then do you put antifreeze in those as well, right? Nope. Nope. Just get them empty, so. Yep. Empty them and uh, leave all the valves and everything open. Right. These beans here right at home aren't really, they're not really turning much here. Nice and flat, but yeah. you can see in the distance, there's a little more hills on that next field and Anything with a hill now is starting to uh, turn over more. Close as it gets to irrigation down here. Help. Too bad we couldn't have got this down by the food plot. That thing needs water. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure after the past few days it's looking pretty pretty bad. Because Well we planted it in early August and we got one shot of rain, like two tents. And yeah. it's had zero in a month since then. And it's been over a hundred degree in index for how many days in a row? Yeah. Better part of August. Yeah.
furthest back tank here is empty. So I did shut this valve off for this one. It looks like the second and the first tanks still have like 350 gallons of water in them. So 700 more gallons to go. Got to squeeze through here. at this rate I won't be able to squeeze through that little gap next year something to keep in mind this winter maybe don't eat so much Only the one casualty in this project. Nick went to fire it up for the last time, the pump, and uh, that broke. I would say the silver lining on that is that we need to get a new pump for next year anyway because that thing is leaking like a sieve. Yep. Uh, still works as a backup though, so it might be worth putting the new pull handle on it just in case. But I guess technically if the new one broke, I would probably just take the handle off that and put it on this. But minor damage. It'd be a can fix it either way but this pump was leaking all year really bad so I think that's one thing for next spring you yep. gonna have to put a new pump on this thing so I opened up the lines and one of the tanks was still on water right now Either two or three did because it started gurgling. Oh. Well, let them drain out a little more. Yep. got the truck back to the yard it's just sitting in front of the shop I'm letting the engine cool off a little bit before I start climbing around underneath it trying to grease stuff so in the meantime we're gonna run out to the shed and hook up the PTO on the grain cart and the hydraulics and then come back and do this once that's done probably run the grain cart a little bit so last fall when we were doing uh, corn on one of my rented pieces it was the field that we were on was very hilly so the uh, PTO shaft was running and went over a hill and it came over this lip and when I leveled back out it just smashed it all the way up just crinkled it really good and so the actual shaft was exposed. So we got a new uh, safety cover put on. Now just got to put it back on there and then hook it up to the actual PTO on the tractor. But that is one thing we've always done is if a PTO safety cover gets messed up in any way, normally we'll put a new one on it just to make sure that if somebody did get too close to it nothing would happen or make it the safest as possible with those
There we go. That was so easy. Yeah, that was easy. All right. had to move that thing. Walk around, put the jack back up, hook the PTO shaft up. That does not sound good. Sounds like it's grinding or something. Yeah. Thing's brand new. Yeah, it's been used twice. <clears throat> I don't know what really could be grinding, but no. Batteries low. I'll try that out. Unless I'm a mouse pissed on it. Which <laughs> very easily could be. Can mouse pee make a DeWalt tool grind? You tell us. Yeah. That's nasty. Yeah. Gotta get the UV joint turned around so I can get up this thing. Can you clean this out? No. I'll run it once with the traps open too. Up. We got the PTO fixed on it. Um, we got the right um, pin in it, and now we're going to just make sure everything works like we expect it to before we get out in the field. It's been a long time since we've uh, brought any video from inside the tractor cab. Yeah. I gotta remember how to shut the motor mode off. There we go.
wasn't it? Yeah. It's snowing in Minnesota. Let's hop all quick and uh, just take a look at everything and make sure it's looking good. I'm up on top of the green cart ladder looking down at it. All I'm doing is seeing how much leftover junk and everything is left in it, but it doesn't look too bad. It's, there's no real way to get at it, and I don't really feel like climbing down in there today, but looking at that, and also I'm looking at all the gates, making sure that when I have it shut down on the tractor side, it says it's all the way down and it actually is. So just making sure that like little stuff like that is all looking good and doing what it's saying it is. But yeah, happy with everything on that. No issues, so that's a really good thing. Gonna shut these trap doors to make sure that I don't uh, forget them open and then start dumping a bunch of grain into it and when Kathy goes to unload everything gets spit out the bottom instead. Oh. <laughs> Took everything the boys got. I just got a video from my buddy that farms 25 miles away by Walnut Grove and he is combining corn right now. High moisture or what? Yesterday he did a hand sample and tested it and it was 17 and a half percent. Oh shit. So it's like that's not even that high. Oh no, that's basically Re where you want yeah, to be. Yeah exactly ready to go. So yeah he's out in the field right now <laughs> taking corn. Sure. I'm like what is he two three weeks ahead of us right now? Probably. A couple. Probably a week and a half, I'd right. say, just because our corn is very dry here. Right. But Pretty nuts. Yeah. Looking forward to being in the combine for 10 hours a day. We 10? Have elevator closes at five. Days, yeah. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys uh, liked it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe if you have something you want us to hear or something you want to talk about put it down in the comments and yeah you guys have a good one we'll talk to you later